Welcome to this unhelpful thinking training guide. I'm here to help you help yourself through common life difficulties. In the session, we're focused on building helpful thinking habits. Do you ever think negatively or worry about things by going over things again and again in your mind? Just like other aspects of life, we can all fall into different habits. These sorts of unhelpful habits of thinking or unhelpful thoughts can spoil your life. So some people might find they dwell on the negative. For example, I won't enjoy it if I go. While others criticize themselves all the time, saying things like, they're much better at it than me. Whereas for some, they expect the very worst to happen and jump to the worst conclusion about everything. I always mess things up. Or someone may mind read and get focused on what other people might be thinking about us. They keep worrying that others find us boring or don't like us much at all. For instance, telling yourself they think I'm stupid if I say this. At times when we feel stressed out or low, we tend to notice these sort of thoughts far more often. They become harder to put out of mind, and the thing about these sorts of unhelpful thought habits, they're just that, unhelpful, and also usually not true as well. But when we believe these things, they worsen how we feel, and also unhelpfully affect what we do. So these sorts of unhelpful thoughts tell us that we're useless or that nobody likes us, or not to bother doing things. And if we believe them and act on them, they cause us to stop doing things and to withdraw. We end up feeling even worse. So, unhelpful thoughts talk us out of going out with friends, applying for that new job, speaking up at meetings, or simply doing something nice for you. And of course, the less you do, the worse you feel. And the worse you feel, the less you do we get stuck in a vicious cycle. You may have noticed that at times when we feel stressed out and low, that's when these thoughts feel supercharged and pop into our minds a lot more. If we fill our minds with these sorts of thoughts, we get to feel worse and worse. What do people often tell us when we worry like that? Try not to think about it. Let's just see if that works right now, and I'll do it too. As both of us try really hard not to think about a white polar bear for a short time. Well, if you're anything like me, you'll have found you can think of nothing else. Or if you did manage it, perhaps you had to spend a lot of mental energy thinking about perhaps a black polar bear. Or a car. Or whatever. And that's the key lesson. We need to find a more effective, practical way of responding more helpfully to our unhelpful thoughts. And doing something about these thoughts can help boost how you feel and help you get going again. Here's a typical example of someone having unhelpful thoughts. Parvin is looking for a new job and is working on her CV. She has run out of things to say about herself in the personal statement section. She starts to slump in her chair and gaze out of the window. Some of the things Parvin is saying to herself are, what's the point? Loads of people will be applying. Someone else with more experience will probably get the job. I can't be bothered with this. Will I ever get a job? And as a result, she gives up and never sends in her application. Instead, she goes and sits down feeling upset and demoralized. These thoughts are unhelpful because they worsen how Parvin feels. Imagine if anyone was saying similar things to themselves over and over, day on day, week on week. Slowly, these unhelpful thoughts would grind anyone down. And just like in Parvin's case, any one of us would feel angry, upset, or frustrated, embarrassed, guilty, sad, lonely, and so on. So let's move on to what to do when this happens. First, we need a plan, and that plan is called the Amazing Unhelpful Thought Busting Program, or AUTBP for short. Firstly, label the thought. For example, you might find yourself taking things to heart, or beating yourself up, having a gloomy view of the future, being your own worst critic, jumping to the worst conclusions, assuming that others see you badly, or taking responsibility for everything. These are thinking patterns we can all fall into time and time again. 
You may have already noticed that you're more prone to one or more of these thinking styles or that you notice them more than usual when you get upset. When you notice one of these unhelpful thoughts, before you start to get too upset and caught up in it, just mentally try and step back and stick a label on it. Oh, you're just one of those unhelpful thoughts again. When you label an unhelpful thought this way, it begins to lose its power. And you realize that it's just part of being upset. It's not the truth, it's just one of those unhelpful thoughts. You can even say to it, you rumbled, I'm not playing that game again. Secondly, leave it alone. Now you know what it is, you can choose to mentally turn your back on the unhelpful thought. Don't challenge it or try to argue with it, just let it be. Break that cycle where the thoughts go round and round in our heads, making us feel worse. Instead, take a step back and let the thought just be. Instead of getting caught up in it, choose to focus on what you're doing right now. Really focus on this moment or on the conversation you may be having. Sometimes people find it helpful mentally placing the unhelpful thought in the corner of the room. This can take some practice because unhelpful thoughts love attention. But instead, just let them be and they'll shut up eventually. Thirdly, stand up to it. Don't be bossed about by unhelpful thoughts. Because unhelpful thoughts are like bullies. They sound strong, but really they're weak underneath and they tell lies. They say you won't like doing anything. They say you'll fail if you try. They tell you you're rubbish or you're scared and nobody likes you. This is just an unhelpful thought, not the truth. So don't be bullied. If the thought says don't, then do. Stand up to the bully. You'll find that what they're saying just isn't true. So if the thought says you won't enjoy something, like an invitation to meet friends, say yes and go rather than no and stay in. That way you can experiment and check out what really happens. Fourthly, give yourself a break. Unhelpful thoughts are how we beat ourselves up when we're upset. They make us say things to ourselves that we'd never say to a friend or child we loved. So if you're having trouble with an unhelpful thought, think what the person who loves you most in the whole world would say to you right now. They'd disagree with the unhelpful thought, wouldn't they? They'd remind you that you're not rubbish or stupid or bound to fail. So try this. Go into a room by yourself and say the kind words your trusted friend would say to you out loud. Then say it again in a kind voice. And remember that unhelpful thoughts tell lies. People who love you tell you the truth. Trust these positive thoughts and let them help you get rid of the unhelpful thoughts. And fifthly, look at the situation differently. First imagine what it would be like if it was a friend, not you, who was experiencing the unhelpful thought. What advice would you give them? Now, give the same advice to yourself. Also, put your thought or worry into perspective. Will it matter so much in six weeks or six months time? Will you even remember what the problem was? And if it won't matter in six weeks or months, it's probably not that important now. Also, how would others deal with the problem? Think about someone who seems to handle problems well and work out what they do or how they think in that situation. You made a great start here by completing this session. Thanks for listening.